Source Rules is a unique new feature recently introduced by Grass Valley, and now we brought it into our mid-range Carrera product. Well, let's first of all define what the issue is. What we really want to be able to do is to tie particular branding or particular graphics to angles of football coverage or uh, live logos to news coverage, that kind of thing, without really having to tie up too much of our operator's time to think about it. In other words, what I'd like you to do is to cut to camera one for me, it's a server, I'll give you that, and as you do, key one is selected. If you cut to camera two, and so on down the line, each one of them will be labeled by a named key. So far, so good. But the further along you get, there are some that actually start to put up odd combinations, like this next one. That's something that everybody who's used a Grass Valley mixer might well have expected to be able to do so far. It's clever enough, but I know you can do that with macros as well. Absolutely so. So let's look at something you can't do with a macro. If you preset camera one, and on my monitor you see on the preset area, camera one is now on preset with the correct labeling. What's happened is source rules has preset my transition area next transition to be ready for me to press the auto trans button to get the exactly required result. If you preset something else, and the director now makes the call. No, take only the background, don't do the key. Well, I can always override and do exactly what he asks for on the fly. Let's see how easy this is to set up using our menu system. It's source operations, source rules. And what you can see on the left-hand side is that for every partition and for every source on every partition, and there are the sources, I can set a rule. You'll notice that as we've entered the menu, I have rules hold switched on to make sure that for some segments of the show, this one in particular, I'm not going to use source rules. I'll remove that right away now they're operational again. To set up a source rule is very simple. You select a source or multiple sources. You go to the source rules setup area and decide which keys will be off, which ones will be forced on, and if you want to, those which will be ignored using the as is command. When you look at the menu, you can see very easily what's going to happen. If I look at source two, for instance, you can see that there's a row of ones and zeros. The leading zero means that keyer one will be switched off. The following one means keyer two will be switched on and the other zeros all off. And looking down the list, you can see some sources which have A's everywhere. They have no source rules. They're just ignored. They work exactly as I set them up myself on the switcher panel. To help me, I also have the source rules patterns area where I can make copies of patterns I like to be used again on other sources. And all of this rolls into a very, very flexible, very programmable operating system. Mm -hmm.